Hey everybody, Derek here from Badland Birding. Today we have some more binoculars to test out. Um, so let's unbox them right away and give them a look. These come with a couple different things too. So there's a little like a uh, phone adapter so you can take media with them. And then this might be part of that too. Extra things for the eyepieces. A uh, little tripod, it looks like. It's uh, plasticky. I haven't had very good luck with plastic tripods, but you know, if you just want something simple. And then here, the binoculars themselves with the little cleaning cloth. Can never have too many cleaning cloths. Um, user manual. And the bins themselves. I feel like a big part of strapping them. Big part of binoculars is just kind of how they feel in your hand. So these are 12 by 50. Feel solid so far. So pretty simple focus knob in the middle. Um, eyepieces don't think that they can, well, they can extend out and in. Sometimes they have the little flaps that you can pull. Um, I don't think on these. Well, neat. We'll have to go out and test them. And we'll, we can also use the adapter on here too. And, uh, see if we can get some media with them as well. Awesome. Let's go give them a test. I set the, uh, binoculars up on the tripod. The uh, tripod, it's plasticky. You can extend the feet uh, by pressing the buttons in. It only extends a little bit. Um, it's not the sturdiest thing ever. The binoculars, you have to take this little screw out in the middle, and then you can screw this attachment onto the tripod and then onto the binoculars. This little piece, like, kept wanting to go back in, so I kept having to pull it out. And then it was pretty hard to attach. So this is not the most sturdy uh, tripod here. I've had issues with these plastic ones breaking. This one, it's holding up fine for now. But uh, also, I don't know when you would really, I guess if you're setting it on a table inside or something, you would, you know, be using that. But uh, for this, I uh, am probably going to take it off to view birds outside. The attachment for the phone, you put your phone on it, it clips in, and then you move this around to the camera and then you tighten it. And it does kind of want to move. It is also made of plastic. It just sticks on the uh, piece here, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So we're going to use that to get some videos of birds while we look at them with the binoculars. There's some birds over here we can try to take a look at. So you can see that it has the black circle in it, but if we actually zoom in, we'll take that away because we're a little closer. So let's focus. There he is. Sweet, got a clip of him. There's another one in this bush. Neat. I'm gonna take this off and look through. Let's try without the adapter and see how that looks. I feel like when I'm looking through both, I don't necessarily get the clearest like single picture. Like it's hard to fuse together, but if I look through one eye, like everything looks clear once I focus it. But I like the clarity, they feel good. They're solid for under 100 bucks. Not actually crazy about the accessories necessarily. I think um, the adapter's cool, it's also plastic, but you can also put your phone up to it, but it's a little easier because you don't have to hold it if you use the adapter. But uh, overall, cool to test out. Um, 
like I said, I don't see the clearest, like, like for some reason the pictures aren't really coming together the best. So I made a couple adjustments to get the binoculars to be a little more clear for me. So I actually needed them to get closer together to get a really clear picture. So I ended up taking these off that are the covers for the front. Those bands are just kind of preventing it from getting all the way close to where I needed it to be. So now the picture is a lot uh, clearer. It looks like one picture before it didn't. So um, also brought the stand out just to give a look at that too. Like I said, these plastic stands, like I feel like they're kind of fragile, um, but it's nice that they included it with the binoculars as well, as well as that little scope adapter. So let's uh, take a look at some of the birds here in the backyard again. So with these, something to remember too is when you look in the left eye, you're gonna focus with the middle knob, and then for the right eye, you're gonna adjust with this right here. Nice. Let me get some uh, digiscoping video as well. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use the adapter for this. bins here. So we're on an American tree sparrow right now. Cool. Well, I've enjoyed testing these binoculars out. Um, with these binoculars under $100, I always think stuff like this is really good starters or something really good for kids to kind of get them into birding. Just to be able to see the birds up close, it really adds an extra layer of, you know, enjoyment and excitement. Because when you're far away, you can just see the main details, but when you actually are able to see like the different colors and everything, that gets you a lot more into it. So definitely cool to try out. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.